Hello and welcome Angular enthusiasts and aspiring developers. Have you ever clicked through an Angular application and found yourself lost or waiting for pages to refresh? That moment when you click a button and it feels like you are on a long journey to nowhere. Frustrating, isn't it? Ever wondered how to make navigation in Angular apps seamless and user friendly? How to create a smooth journey for your users with just the click of the button? Well, you are in the right place to find out. I am Aya Zafar and I have been in the trenches of Angular development for more than 10 years. From small projects to large scale applications, I have seen it all. In today's tutorial, I am going to walk you through the basics of router link, its crucial role in Angular and most importantly, how you can implement it in your Angular applications. Our goal today is simple yet powerful to simplify navigation in Angular apps, making them more intuitive and user friendly. Whether you are building a new Angular project or looking to enhance an existing one, mastering router link is a game changer. So let's dive in and start making our Angular applications more navigable and efficient. Let's start by unraveling the mystery of router link. What is it and why is it so crucial for Angular applications? Router link is a directive in Angular that allows you to link to specific routes in your application. Think of it as a bridge connecting various components and pages. It enables users to navigate from one view to another without the need for a full page refresh. This is crucial in single page applications where you want seamless, fast and interactive experiences. In this code, we are using router link in an anchor tag. The your route is the destination path in your application. When a user clicks this link, Angular's router will navigate to the specified route without reloading the entire application. This makes the navigation faster and more fluid. Now let's compare this with traditional navigation methods. In a non-SPA website, clicking a link typically sends a request to the server for a new page leading to a complete page reload. This process can be slow and disrupts the user experience, especially if it happens frequently. With router link, Angular handles these transitions smoothly in the browser without sending additional requests to the server. This not only enhances the user experience but also reduces the load on your server. So it's a win-win. So in essence, router link is a powerful tool in Angular Toolkit designed to make your applications more efficient, faster and more enjoyable to navigate a small directive yet a giant leap for application usability. Having understood the role of router link, let's move on to the setting up our Angular environment in the next segment where we will start getting our hands dirty with the code. Now that we have grasped the essence of router link, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dive into some real action. Now we will set up our Angular environment and prepare the stage for implementing router link. So let's get started. First things first, you need to have Node.js installed on your computer. This will include npm which is the package man manager we will use to install Angular CLI. That is also called the command line interface for Angular. If you haven't installed Node.js yet, head over to nodejs.org website and download the latest version. Or you can also follow one of my tutorials on my YouTube channel iastack. Once you have Node.js and npm installed, open your terminal or command prompt where we are going to install Angular CLI globally on your machine. So type this command npm install dash g at angular slash cli. So this command will install angular cli globally allowing you to use it in any project. So now let's create a new angular project. So after it is installed, you can just run another command that is ng new and the project name. So you can replace this project name with whatever you would like to name your project. So this process might take a minute as it sets up all necessary files and dependencies for your new angular app. After the project is created, navigate into your projects directory using this cd command cd and project name. So once you are in your folder, you can open it in your favorite editor or you can directly run it from this terminal that I am currently using for and to run it from here you, gen, you just use this command ng serve okay so I already have created my angular project and it is currently opened in my editor so I will be using this one I am currently using angular 17 let me just quickly show you 
So you can see that I have Angular 17 installed already. My Angular app is also currently running in the browser. Once server is running, you need to open the browser like this and exciting, isn't it? With our environment setup, it's time to create a new component where we will implement router link. So back in the terminal, let's use Angular CLI to generate a new component. So type this command ng generate component my dash component press enter again you can replace my component with the name relevant to your project so this command creates a new folder with the necessary files for your component you now have a fresh angular environment and a new component to work with next we will dive into adding router link to a button within this component we are now entering the heart of our tutorial adding router link to a button in angular this is where we put theory into practice and see the magic happen so let's get coding first make sure you are in the directory of your angular project open the project in your favorite code editor like i already have opened you can see i will be using visual studio code but feel free to use any editor you are comfortable with our goal is to add a button in our my component component that navigates to a different route when clicked first we need to ensure that we have a route to navigate to so let's create a simple route so when you are creating a new project with angular cli sometimes it will ask you that uh, if you want to create routes or not so if you already have selected that you may have this route file that you may use so i'm using angular 17 the latest version so this is not a module so this is just a file with the routes array and you can see this array is being used in the app.com so this is about the latest angular 17 version so in the older version you might have app routing module where you will be defining the route so everything would stay same you just have to so even if you are using the old version you just have to add the routes in the array in the app routing module so let's begin here we will define our route so let's add new route your routing module might look like this so you may have path home component and my component okay so there are so there is a problem i'm mean, not a problem but uh, when we were creating a component we should not have added the word component in the name because it automatically adds the word component to it so i will just remove the component and i will generate it without that suffix okay so you can see that we have my folder and we have the my dot component okay so now if you type my component uh, you can see that this time component is only once in this word so in this file we are importing the my component and defining a route with the path home that will render the my component you can replace the my component with any other component you wish to navigate to now let's open the template file of our my component which is my component.html here we will add a button with the router link so type this in your html component file button router link and the path okay there is a problem it is showing the error uh, because the router link directive is currently not available the reason is that uh, we did not import the router module in this component so as i am using standalone component i can directly i can directly import the router link uh, router module in it with that you will see that the error is gone now we can simply add the correct path that we want to use okay so i will make some changes and we need two different uh, routes to test it so here i will add path my and here i will add another component path another path another route that would be home maybe and here i will add a component i need to create a new component with the name home okay now let's import the home component like this make sure to import it with the import syntax okay now let's go to the app.component.ts and here we will in the html we will add the router outlet okay so within this uh, component all of our routes would be loaded i will add anchor router link okay we have home and we have the my okay let's give it a try you reload it these are the links that are currently visible so let me add some styles to it that we could make it look little better okay so now let's click on these 
make sure to add the square bracket around it and then wrap it in and add an array here so one thing uh, that is missing we need to add the router module here so that we could have the router link available so now we don't need this syntax you can simply have a string and it should definitely definitely work okay now if you click on that you are on the home page if you click on the my component you are on the my components page and let's go to the my component and here i can add a button go back and if you click on that it will take you back to the home page okay so look at that okay i hope this is understood so here we have added a button element with the router link directive the home is the route we defined earlier in our routing file when this button is clicked angular will navigate to the home route as you saw so this is the power of router link in angular it allows for seamless navigation with your application enhancing the overall user experience to recap we have set up our new route added a button to our component and used router link to navigate to that route with these steps you have successfully integrated router link into an angular button next we will discuss some best practices and common pitfalls when using router link great work on implementing router link in a button but as with any powerful feature it is important to use it wisely next we will explore best practices for using router link effectively and highlight common pitfalls to avoid so let's enhance your angular expertise first let's talk about the best practices first use relative path when defining routes in router link consider using the relative paths this makes your routes more flexible and easier to maintain especially in the large applications next utilize preloading strategies for larger application consider using angular's preloading strategies with your routes so this can significantly improve your apps performance by loading feature modules in the background next Next is keep URLs simple and user friendly. So design your URL structure to be intuitive and readable. This not only aids in navigation but also helps in SEO for web applications. Next use router link active for active links make use of these router link active directive to style active links it gives users a clear indication of their current location within the application so let me quickly demonstrate that so go to the app html and here add the router link active directive and here i will add the class name that would be added if this route is activated similarly add the same thing on here as okay now let's uh, go back here open the inspect element and you will find that the active class has been added on the home link but active class is not on the my component link but if you are on the my component then active class would be added here and it would be removed from the home link and so on okay you can also now design the active state if you want to like by default i will say that text decoration none and color should be gray but if there is active class on it then we want to change the color to uh, maybe this one and i want to make it bold okay now you can see that this one is bold and if you own the my component then this will become bold now let's shift our focus to some common pitfalls and how to avoid them hard coding paths in router link can lead to errors and it's harder to maintain so always prefer dynamic binding or relative paths so for example right now we have hard coded the paths but you can do something like that go to the app.component and here add the variable routes is equal to array and in that you will add the path my and the label you can call it label okay and uh, let's add slash here to keep it relative next we need to have the route for the home now let's remove this and move it in a for loop and here i will add the route of routes and here we will add track by route or track route okay so if you have id you can use id or let me actually use the path maybe okay now here let's wrap it in square bracket so that we could use javascript in double code so here i will add route dot path and here i will add route dot label okay now let's quickly test it you can see that our routes are still working so order totally depends on the order of the array item so you can change the order as well and you can add more and more links if you want to and it will be added automatically save it and you can see that all of those links are generated dynamically so this is better approach 
okay all of these are using the active color because the path is same for all of these but if you change the path like this one this and this now you will see that there is only one with that color next one is beware of incorrect path binding ensure your ensure your route paths are correctly spelled and structured a small typo can cause a route to fail leading to broken navigations next one is don't forget to import router module so like we did we uh, earlier we were not using router module so that's why uh, directives were not available things were not working so a common oversight is forgetting to import the router module in your module or component so always check your module imports next you should test across different browsers different browsers can handle routing differently so always test your angular routes across multiple browsers for consistency by following these best practices and steering clear of common pitfalls you will ensure your angular applications navigation is not only functional but also efficient and user friendly as we near the end of this tutorial it's crucial to see how our new found knowledge of router link applies in the real world as we wrap up this tutorial remember that router link is just one of many tools angular offers to enhance your web application journey so let's summarize what we have learned and look at how you can further engage with these concepts congratulations on making it to the end of the tutorial let's quickly recap what we have covered today and reflect on the valuable skills you have gained we started with understanding of router link and its crucial role in angular applications making navigation seamless and user friendly next we walked through setting up an angular environment ensuring you have the foundational step foundational setup for implementing router link then we dove into practical implementation where you have learned how to add router link to a button within an angular component we also discussed the best practices and common pitfalls to ensure your navigation is not only functional but also efficient remember using router link effectively can transform your angular applications making them more interactive and user friendly i encourage you to try implementing router link in your own projects experiment with it and see different and uh, see the difference it makes if you have any questions or if you would like to share your experience and projects where you used the router link please leave a comment below i would love to see what you create and assist in any way i can and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more angular tutorials and web development tips your your support is greatly appreciated thank you so much for watching and being part of ias tech here we are passionate about angular and web development and we aim to bring you the most informative and engaging tutorials to help you grow as developer your engagement and feedback mean the world to us and we are grateful for every like comment and subscription for more angular insights and tutorials check out the resources appearing on the screen now there is lot more to explore and learn don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials and updates make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on see you in the next video and until then happy coding